G'day guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview of the ASON M19 Android tablet. Now uh, this tablet, the M19, is uh, made by a company in China called ASON. Um, it comes with a 16 gig standard, um, but it is upgradable to 32 gigabytes. As I said before, it is an Android tablet and um, I've got it right now running uh, Android 4.0, more commonly known as Ice Cream Sandwich. I won't even begin to go into the details of how to update this from um, to 4.0 because we didn't get the Wi-Fi version and for some reason that means it comes with Android 2.3 preloaded which means that all the apps you get, the entire experience, is designed for a smartphone, not for a tablet. So I'm not very happy with that. Anyway, continuing with the uh, other specs, we've got the rear camera here, which uh, does take two megapixel photos. And there's also a front-facing camera placed in a rather odd position, um, and that's 0 0.3 megapixels. So, you know, this tablet does take photos. They're not really the best, though. Uh, it's got this 3G cellular black bar here for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, in terms of dimensions, it's got a 9.7 inch capacitive touchscreen, exactly like the iPad. And also similar to the iPad is the screen resolution, which is 1024 by 768. So if we have a look at the connectivity options, you can see that it uh, does show where the microphone is on the tablet. You've got your um, audio out jack so you can plug in your headphones and listen to whatever. You've got this TF expansion port here so you can um, place more than 16 gigabytes of stuff to use with the tablet. You've got your USB input there. You've got your DC in for power. You've also got an HDMI out so you can plug this into a HDMI enabled monitor to um, mirror everything across and you've also got a USB port at the bottom. On the side here you've got um, four hardware buttons. Obviously you've got the power button for turning the tablet on and off. You've got your home key so which, you, which should return you to the home screen. You've got your escape key which is actually the back key so it's been renamed escape and then next to that you've got your menu button but with the, um, this tablet running Android 4.0 these uh, buttons all except for the power button have pretty much become useless. And coming with the tablet is this uh, nice little leather case that they provide so you can just lock it in place just by um, putting that in there and then when you want to actually use it you can just flip it open, it's kind of like one of the original iPad covers. You got little slots for cards or whatever you want to keep in there. I just keep a cleaning cloth inside that sleeve. And using these little corner bits you can um, hold your device in there and it's uh, to an extent you can use it like a stand on a desk so you can um, use your tablet while it's just uh, sitting there. Okay so um, now that we've got all the basic stuff out of the way, let's just turn it on. Okay, so um, that's uh, it's so now it's starting up, and um, if I didn't mention before, I'll just tell you now. This tablet is using uh, it's got a 1.2 gigahertz single core processor made by Rockchip, and you need to get the software from them in order to be able to um, update this tablet. So yeah, this is the boot boot image or logo, I guess. Uh, very annoying. Um, if anyone knows how to change that, please leave instructions or a link to instructions in the comment section down below so I can change this. Very appreciated. Okay. So um, this is the uh, lock screen, I guess, kind of, for Android 4.0. Okay, so let me just go ahead and enter in my passcode. Oh no, now the internet has my passcode. Anyway, so um, this is the home screen for the tablet. It's uh, fairly standard Android 4.0 stuff. I am using the um, what I believe is the default uh, wallpaper, uh, live wallpaper anyway, which is called um, Phase Beam. And you can see here I've got a little clock widget, 
I've got a camera, YouTube settings, shortcuts, I've got a games folder, mostly build and Angry Birds. I've got um, ES File Explorer, which is my favorite uh, Android app for viewing the um, file system of your uh, Android. Uh, next to that, I've, I've got Play the Store icon, and yes, that was called Android Market before, but it's been um, switched to Play Store. And next to that, I've got Chrome Beta for Android, because this, because this is an ARM V7 tablet. So if you see in the top left corner here, we've got the little Google logo Search and icon next to it. And that's what you can just browse the web straight from there or do it, perform Google search straight from there. Next to that, you've got a little microphone icon if you want to dictate your search query. Uh, if you move over to the top right, we've got our um, apps icon. Uh, and then I'll show you um, the app screen for this tablet. Uh, down in the bottom right, we've just got some basic info like... Um, the time, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, and battery life. If you tap on it again, you'll get just some basic switches for like Wi-Fi, uh, rotating the screen, brightness, whether you want notifications on or not, and then uh, an option that'll get you straight into the settings app. And if you look in the bottom left, we've got uh, a key point of Android 4.0, which is which are its software buttons. So the one in the one to the very left is the back button. That's what you use to get back to previous screens or back to the main screen. Um, the center button there is like your home button. So tap on that and it'll bring you back to this screen. Uh, the third icon is the multitasking icon. So if you tap on that, it'll actually show you what apps um, have been running, and you can just swipe them out to. Um, well, it doesn't actually stop them, but it just removes them from your multitasking list. And then the last two buttons are just software volume up and volume down buttons. Now, uh, because these are software buttons that are used a lot with the tablet, um, they will stay on screen regardless of whatever app you're in. Okay, so that's um, everything on the main home screen that I've set up. You can always switch between different home screens just by flicking your finger like that. Or you can tap and hold to um, change your wallpaper and uh, all sorts of things. Now, I said before, we tap on the apps icon there, it shows you all the apps you have currently installed on the device in um, alphabetical order. You can see there, it says apps, you see there it's got widgets, and that w tapping that will take you directly to um, the Play Store. So if I just swipe here, it'll show me all my widgets. Now, that I, I don't actually have these on my screen right now, but it allows me to pick them if I want to. And if you try to go beyond, it uh, kind of like tilts it. I reckon that's just a really cool um, visual tweak they have there. And um, as I was saying before about notifications, you can see down there it's um, talking about ES File Explorer. And if I want to get rid of that, I just swipe it like so. All right, guys. So this is just. Um, an overview of the ASON M19 Android tablet running um, what I assume anyway is a stock Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Now that I have an Android device that I can use, I will um, test out a couple of the apps that it comes with and a couple of apps that I can get from the Play Store. So um, even though I haven't really done a full review or such, um, what do you think about the tablet? Do you like it or do you dislike it? Leave your comments, uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, if you feel like being awesome, uh, go through to the rest of my channel and check out some of my other videos. I really appreciate it. It definitely helps me out. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.